Yeah, I'm countersinking the, the screws here so that the screw head goes flush with that. Got to countersink that a little bit more. I think it's better using the countersink tool first. Then if I have to make the hole bigger, use the bigger drill bit to make the hole bigger. But see this countersink has a, a drill bit on the end of it and a countersink built into it. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah, I'm so uh, SMRT that I actually uh, countersunk on the wrong side. <clears throat> like over there. So <clears throat> I have to re-countersink again, but I don't think it hurt anything because uh, it's pretty thick wood. So you see if I countersunk to there and countersunk to there, I still got like a half inch in between there. So that's pretty good. It didn't hurt anything. But... That was pretty stupid so just wanted to mention to YouTube folks that you know something you gotta look out for you know counter sink the right side you know duh okay we got this base thing here I'm gonna rough it up using some sandpaper so I could glue those wood boards on top because I got them all done here with all the wheels yeah I just want to mention this whole project is uh, Ash's fault because he said that I should put wheels on this thing. But actually, it's a pretty good idea. So, I'm kind of glad he said it. Yeah, this stuff bonds 80% in one to two hours. So, um, that's good. So, after two hours, I could uh, take the clamps off and, and paint the son of a gun. All right, there's the other clamp, the other tool chest. I could put another clamp over there. I think I may might as well just do that. Yeah, I'm kind of sad I use this Gorilla Glue because it's like uh, it's supposed to be great glue, but it just keeps foaming and foaming and foaming. So you got to keep wiping and wiping and wiping. It's kind of kind of lame. I didn't see that on the label. It said it expands like four times, but uh, I got to keep wiping that foam off pain in the neck okay I got everything clamped and uh, got that weight on top of it so I gotta wait like two hours I got some uh, if you look close here that's that foamy stuff there but I got some paper towel like like this paper towel kind of stuck on the side but that's no big deal I could sand that off I mean paper towel is gonna sand off and it says on the label you could sand that residue off. So that's what I'm going to do. Kind of sand it off with a sanding block and I then paint it after a couple hours. So I hope that's going to be, uh, hope it's going to come out okay. It's going to come out reasonably okay. It's not going to be perfect. It's going to be pretty good. Yeah, I forgot to say, I got to glue this little piece in still. But I think I'm going to use this Elmer's glue off for this little piece. Just kind of for decoration anyway. Squirrel. Squirrel and the bird feeder. I think he fell off. Yeah, I'm kind of training myself as I go here. Got another 100 grit. Let's go right around the corner there. And I got the two corners, and they're matching up really, really close. I mean, Half of a millimeter. I mean, you can hardly see it. It feels really good though. All right, I sanded it. Came out pretty good here. Actually, came out decent and uh, cleaned it off. Now I'm ready to uh, 
to paint it. All right, this is stuff I'm using it has paint and primer in one. I've used it before. It's decent paint, and uh, this is called uh, dark granite. That's the that's how I figured out like it was. Yeah, the paintings come out pretty good, and uh, just take it slow and easy. Get yourself a decent brush, and uh, close on nice. I think I'll do two coats on this puppy. And I'm doing the whole the whole bottom too. Might as well. Okay, got one coat on it, and um, looks pretty good. Hate to leave it outside, but I'm gonna have to, and uh, some stuff's gonna fall on it from the trees, whatever. But I guess it ain't too bad. And uh, so, uh, all I wanted to mention here, I put some dab of paint on each one of these nuts just so they'll never loosen up and I'm never going to be taking these wheels off because you know TV's going to be sitting on top of this thing so I think when the thing gets wheeled out it'll probably be like getting wheeled out to the junkyard or something but if the set lasts like five years I'll be like happy and this job is going to come off pretty good I think I hope so Okay, I got it all painted and it dried for a couple days. Tent working on it yesterday, but this side here had I didn't like how it came out because it, it had some bubbles in it from that um, gorilla glue, <laughs> gorilla glue, and also it had um, um, you know the top piece didn't make good with this piece. So instead of sanding it like crazy, I'm using some wood filler here. And I sanded it down, put some wood filler in. Now I'm just going to sand that and get it smooth. And it's a, it's going to make it come out like really perfect. And then there was another spot in the front that I didn't see. And of course, I noticed these things after I painted it. But I got uh, some little bubbles here from that glue. So I got to have to sand that down. And I got some little bubbles here. So I'm going to fix that because I might as well get it to look good. I think, you know. Yeah, I wasn't happy how some of this came out after I looked at how the paint like, kind of dried. Like here, that doesn't make too good. And there. There's some little bubbles here. Not too bad. But what I'm going to do is uh, rework it and sand it and paint it again because, you know, I got a lot of paint and I got a lot of time. So I might as well do the job right, I think. Got a little wood filler in there. Yeah, I'm finding out the best way of sanding it is not to try to eyeball it, but to feel it and feel if it's smooth. That feels pretty smooth there. Just sanding that with a 80 grit on that, and I got a 100 grit here. This feels pretty good. This is pretty good too. I gotta do this side here. I got the filler there. It's a little shaky. I'm gonna have to do that again. Okay, I wiped everything off with a damp uh, microfiber kind of towel to get all the residue off of it. It's pretty clean. I mean, it's clean, so I'm gonna paint it again. I mean, it's pretty smooth too. It's a lot better than what it was when I first painted this. And uh, so the uh, first first coat on this again, I guess, and second coat on top. And then I'll let it dry and probably give it like another coat altogether. So um, it, it's pretty good. I mean, it's good. I mean, it's probably the best I could do. And I think the more I work on it, the worse it's going to get. Especially on that body filler I put on the side, or the wood filler. It's kind of just like working with body filler on a car. 
but you got to be careful with it you get like a little chip in it it's it's pretty good it's a couple little pits in it but I mean I think it's close enough to be honest with you and it's a lot better than what it was the first time I mean a lot better so I'm gonna go with it yeah I like using the water soluble paint and this has the primer and the paint all built into one thing but water soluble is so much easier to clean up I mean just rinse it off of water it's fantastic yeah, this is looking a lot better already. It really is. Okay, I'm taking a rest here. Okay, I got one coat on there and uh, got to let it dry two hours per the instruction before I put another coat. And uh, about the upper limit of the temperature today is about 90 degrees, and I think that's what it said on the label for the high temperature of using it. So, uh, it's pretty hot and I had to make sure I wasn't sweating over everything. But it looks pretty good, I think. I'll be honest with you. You know, for, for an amateur, never really done this. And, uh, you know, another coat. I think I'll put another two more coats on it. And it's going to look great. There it is, kids. Um, one stand, two coats of paint. I got it in the house, and believe it or not, the color matches a lot better when it's inside the house. But there it is. It's all together, and it looks pretty good. And I got wheels on it, see? Six wheels underneath that puppy. So that that is going to be for right there. The monster um, television. I put the cover over there so the cat don't jump on top and puke in it. Because cat was like jumping around, puking around the house. I said, well, if the cat pukes inside the set, that's pretty much forget that. So there's a 240-pound set. And there's your thing here for the stand. Looks good. Looks like a wrap. Take it easy, kids. Have a great day. Or good night. Bye.